Hello and welcome. You're watching Business Today Television. I'm Tanya Anija, and the, in this episode, we are going to discuss the impact of artificial intelligence and machine learning in investment decision making, and how it has attracted millennials and Gen Z into DIY investment. Now, you must be wondering what's DIY investment? Well, that is do-it-yourself investing. It is a method and a strategy in which retail or individual investors manage their own portfolio. So, uh, to discuss this in detail let's welcome our guest on the show today we have with us uh, mr vinay pagaria who is the cto and co-founder at stock edge thank you so much vinay for taking the time out and being with us here on business today television and uh, i want to begin by asking you that how are you using artificial intelligence and machine learning at stock edge and you have been able to automatically identify chart patterns in different stocks so tell us more about that uh, so, uh, as you mentioned earlier, I'll start from there. Uh, DIY basically means do it yourself, which means that today's generation, we are more focused on, uh, you know, being more capable of doing things ourselves rather than dependent on some paid experts. And Stockage has this belief from the beginning that we should create tools which should help investors and traders to take their own calls, own decisions based on data that they can have access to. So AI and ML is certainly changing the way the world is running and we were thinking of what kind of use case we can add within our uh, framework of things. So we decided to uh, attempt something called uh, auto identification of chart patterns, which traders in the market, uh, pro traders definitely understand the power of chart patterns. But this is something which even individual traders and you know small time investors can also take benefit from. So the theory is that, you know, anyone who is doing uh, charting based on uh, any stock, the core idea is that the patterns that happen reflect the balance of demand and supply of that stock in the market. And a particular shape of that pattern reflects the sentiment of the uh, participants in that market. So there are very famous chart patterns which have been academically proven to be working. And we tried and did an analysis and did a lot of machine learning tools and figured out a methodology through which our system can automatically identify what pattern has formed in which stock. Right. So that will help people to discover stocks. And from those stock ideas, uh, immediate benefits can flow. Okay, absolutely. And since we are talking about DIY investing, so what are the benefits and risks that are involved with this uh, type of investing? See, the benefits are huge because uh, traditionally what we had seen was most of our earlier generations used to invest in the market simply based on what they heard from others, right? The others could have been brokers, advisors, just a friend, you know, sitting over tea, someone giving a tip or just listening to random, uh, you know, news articles or television shows and without applying our own mind. So we are not, you know, we are not against any of these conversations, but we do feel that in today's generation, if you get the skill of understanding something yourself, right, you keep your eyes and ears open, you see the environment, you see what else everyone is talking about. But before you make an investing decision, go ahead and do some basic preliminary research yourself because Today, we have the availability of data. Anyone has access to information on various platforms, right? And uh, the the risk, you know, you do not, you get out of that factor where you blame others for decisions that you take. You, you become more, you know, responsible for your own decisions, which help you to learn and you know, gain more out of it. That's the biggest uh, advantage. Okay, absolutely. And since we're talking about chart patterns also, I mean, they are useful technical tools to understand why an asset price has behaved in a certain way. But do prices always follow trends as per the patterns? Uh, honestly, no, right? Because patterns are something where we are trying to predict the future and uh, there cannot be a holy grail of predicting the future, right? Just like the weather predictions, chart patterns may not always be able to predict the right way. But they do reflect, you know, the potential of something going in a particular way. And uh, like in stockage, what we do is we transparently show that over the last, say, one year, whatever patterns were detected, how these stocks actually moved, right? So that some of them worked, some of them not worked. But when they worked, they worked phenomenally, right? So the risk reward is very high. 
so suppose even three out of your uh, six stocks go right the amount of leverage that you can take and the amount of profits that you can book in those three is far higher than the losses that you make in the other three so there is no guarantee but uh, there is a very high probability of things working Hmm. Okay, absolutely. And coming back to DIY only. So there are, I'm sure, various DIY platforms that are available online, and you have one too. So, um, what is the USP of your platform? If you compare it like with the other platforms. See, we have built our platform with a very simple objective that we should keep things as simple as possible, so that even beginners can come on the platform. so say someone who is absolutely new to investing can just come on our platform look at the list of sectors that are there in the market click on any sector dig drill down further and get this stock in that sector click and drill down further and see what are the different things that are happening in that you know particular stock and you can just keep digging in right so it is like every screen will show you hardly four or five information points and the app is so beautifully connected that wherever you you click you drill down and you you get deeper into it to the extent that if you don't have understanding of that concept you just click on an i icon and the entire concept is also taught to you so the idea is that you know to make it so simple that anyone can once you become a little comfortable with the tool you can increasingly uh, know more about the markets and end up as a better investor okay absolutely and what are the top things one should know about uh, stock chart patterns i mean let's talk about let's say the top 10 chart patterns that one should know uh, when trading in the stock market yeah so i'll name a few chart patterns which are very popular one is uh, called the triangle pattern right where the the stock prices come down at the high points and the low points are rising so a triangle kind of a structure is formed then a very famous one is head and shoulder patterns which try and uh, typically predict trend reversals right so you have a bullish head and shoulder and a bearish head head and shoulder sometimes stocks move very quickly right so uh, flag patterns form so flag patterns are also very uh, popular uh, then we have patterns like channel patterns where stock is moving in a particular channel right not moving too further away on either side so there are different channel patterns like uh, rising channel falling channel and flat channel and uh, uh then we have like double tops triple tops double bottom triple bottom and there are a lot of others right rounding tops rounding bottoms so the list goes on but broadly you know these are the uh, critical patterns which we have covered in the application also and uh, i'm sure people can benefit by using this hmm but even if if someone is following diy investing uh, he should be aware of these patterns right yeah no doubt no doubt anyone who is doing any kind of trading uh, patterns is as important as looking at candlestick charts themselves right because what do you see on a chart you try and see the candles how the prices are moving and is do, are those you know price patterns suggesting something right so patterns are uh, basically a mathematical way of deriving that over the last 3 months what has been the sentiment and where are the buyers stuck and where are the sellers stuck so what what equilibrium is is going to get disturbed and whenever a pre pattern is broken right when the price comes out of that pattern that is the indicator that okay now is the time to take action so in stockage what we do is that you get an indication on the day the pattern is broken right as long as the stock is moving in a channel it's there in the channel but the moment it comes out it gets reflected that a new pattern has been formed and uh, you know you can probably go and look at this possible action hmm absolutely got that and also let's talk about the uh, some mistakes that traders should avoid because there are many trading gurus uh, who are available on various social media platforms but still it's not easy for traders to make money so what would be your advice i mean for all the traders so my first advice to uh, spe- especially for uh, novice traders is that you know become aware that trading is not a lottery it is neither a you know a 100% definitely we will win if i have a great trainer then that doesn't guarantee that tomorrow i'll definitely get profits right it is a risky battle and you you have to be in control of your nerves you have to be aware that things may not move the way you are moving right the way you are expecting them to move so uh, i think 
patience and knowledge is something that is very critical as a trading professional you must have high amount of emotional quotient and should be able to navigate through all the phases of the market because market behaves randomly at random times right in a momentum market things will be very different from a sluggish market so be aware keep learning and uh, you know go for the best okay keep learning that's the word coming in and also lastly before we let you go um how are you approaching markets at this point in time because we are not far away from all time highs and you know for nifty i think just 100 points uh, away from that 18800 mark so how are you approaching markets at this point in time so uh, it's a little cautious right but uh, markets as a whole in the long term definitely uh, there's no doubt indian markets are set to you know be a story right we all know that so it's in this short term you know there are ups and downs which keep happening so a little bit cautious as of now maybe some amount of profit booking but eventually uh, markets are positive in my mm, view absolutely and any sectors that you're bullish on uh, i would like to skip that okay no worries got that okay on that note thank you so much vinay uh, for taking the time out and being with us here on business today television thank you thank you thank you so much okay with that let's wrap up this special edition but don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms like facebook twitter linkedin instagram do share your stock queries stock feedback so stay tuned for all the latest market updates and many thanks for watching If you like the video do like comment share and subscribe